guys, welcome back to the Gaither Gang. Today I am going to be sharing with you um, our third grade curriculum picks. And I'm really excited about what we've chosen for this year, so stick around and see what we're doing. And I will be covering what we're doing for language arts, what we're doing for math, what we're doing as our family group lesson, and how we are incorporating Bible into our routine. And so those are the main things. Um, if you feel like I left out a whole bunch of stuff like science, geography, um, history, art, all of that, it is actually included a lot in our language arts, but also um, even more in our group lesson. Um, so the way we do group lessons are we pick one thing to learn about, but as we're learning about that one thing, we, um, we learn about uh, the history that goes along with it, the culture. Um, we learn, we do art projects, we do science projects. Uh, and so we kind of cover all the subjects learning about that one thing. Uh, and so we love to do uh, units for that reason because we can cover everything and we don't have to buy science, history, art. We don't have to have a million different curricula for each level of learner in the home when you have lots of kids. There's just no way to do that. And so this has worked out beautifully for us. And since I'm talking about our group lesson, let's just start there. Um, we have chosen this year to do, um, well, two different things. We're starting off with traveling the states by the Waldock Way. And if you don't know anything about the Waldock Way, please go check their website out. Um, I have also done a review uh, I will uh, put a card here for you so that uh, you can just click on that and go watch my review on traveling the states for the Waldock Way. We absolutely love it. So I won't spend a whole lot of time going over that in this video. Uh, just go watch that other video and you will see what this unit is all about. But we are systematically going through all of the United States and learning everything we can uh, about each state. Uh, and so that is our group lesson. However, um, sometimes we like to uh, sidetrack and learn other things and do a different group lesson in the middle, like probably around Thanksgiving, we'll go do a little bit of US history uh, or do a separate unit for Christmas and things like that. And when we do that, we love to use Gather Around. We have done Gather Around units. Um, we've done North American Birds. Uh, we, my kids absolutely loved that one. Um, our very favorite was Asia. Um, so if you don't know anything about Gather Around, um, go check them out. They have a beautiful website. Um, set up to where there's all these units you can pick from. If you order the family bundle, you'll get every single level um, as a PDF. And so you can teach your high schoolers at the same time. You can teach your elementary kids at the same time. You can teach your preschoolers because all of the information is there on their level. Uh, and we absolutely love that. Um, so we're probably gonna jump back and forth between the Waldock Way and Gather Round. And we just love doing units for to covering all of our other subjects that are not the basic core language arts, math, and Bible. Um, so what are we doing for language arts? So for third grade, let's start with handwriting. He'll be doing level three of the Good and the Beautiful handwriting. He was doing this last year because he asked to learn cursive. 
Um, and so I thought, why not? If he is that interested in it, I will let him do level three when he's in the second grade. Um, we did not finish the whole course, and so I'm gonna start him halfway through it this year. But um, here's a sample page from there. Uh, they do one page per day of handwriting. Uh, we don't make it that hard. Uh, just one page per day while they're waiting on me to get breakfast to the table. They sit at the table and they do a few things at the table. So handwriting is the good and the beautiful level three. Um, we also chose for language arts, the good and the beautiful. My third grader, <laughs> I have a big O stack, but that's because my printer didn't print front and back, it only printed front. And so, uh, I, and then it ran out of colored ink before I could print the cover page, but it looks something like that, really beautiful. And then this is uh, one of the sheets. So for third grade, um, he's going to be doing level two alongside my second grader of the good and, good and the beautiful. He's super ahead in math and right on level uh, for third grade. And in the good and the beautiful, the level two is a lot closer to the third grade level than it is the second grade level. And so you just kind of have to place your kids, do the placement test and put them where they go. And then it's just such a beautiful curriculum that it, curriculum? A beautiful <laughs> curriculum that it, it just stick them where they need to be. And then it builds, you know, from there. And so don't think of the levels as, oh no, my kid's behind. That's not how it goes. Um, just put them where they need to be. So my third grader is doing the good and the beautiful level two. So for the language arts, but uh, handwriting is level three. Last year, I felt like he needed a little more spelling practice because he's not that great at spelling yet. Uh, he just doesn't really care for words that much. And so we worked in this spelling workout. We did one sheet per day of this, and we like this spelling workout. So if you're needing some extra spelling help, you might look into this. So I'm pretty sure uh, he'll get enough spelling in the good and the beautiful, but if he doesn't, I'm gonna put this back in there for him again. Uh, so I wanted to show you that. Now, uh, we also do the our whiteboard system if you have watched my other videos you know we have white whiteboards that the kids look at every morning and then they copy down the work that's on their whiteboards and it really helps them practice language arts every day i've made this um, sheet for them to fill out so they look at their whiteboards and they have sight words that they copy down here then they have a blend we call it a builder they have a blend that they put right here like er er says er so what words can i build with er in it and so they do that while they're doing their handwriting while they're waiting on breakfast and um that's just a good daily practice for them that brings us to math um like i said my third grader is advanced in math so this year he's going to be doing teaching textbooks level five uh, he did level four last year, aced it, um, and so he's ready for five. We love teaching textbooks. It is, you can get it in print, but uh, you can also do all of it online. Especially for larger families who you have younger kids you have to sit down with and really um, be involved hands-on with their learning. Um, it's nice to have one or two things that your older kids can do independently and using teaching textbooks uh, is that uh, reprieve for us. He can get on the app on his Kindle or get on the website online and uh, just pull up his lesson for the day. They do the lecture. He listens to the lecture and then he works his way through all of the questions. They keep the grade book online. I don't have to grade anything um, and it's just wonderful in my opinion. Some people think that teaching textbooks is a little bit behind but um, as long as you're putting your kid in there you're testing them and putting them on whatever level they're on like for me my third grader is on level five um, and my second grader is on level three 
um, that's just where they're at and as long as you put them where they're at uh, and you keep them consistently learning, there won't be any gaps unless you jump around from curriculum to curriculum, right? And sometimes you need to change curriculum because it's just not working, uh, but the more you can pick one math and stay with it, it builds on itself, and teaching textbooks goes all the way through calculus, I think. In my opinion, it's not behind because you put your kid at the level they're at and then you move forward from there and it builds and builds and builds and builds all the way through calculus uh, and so we love it we i love to just be able to say go to your math and then i can um just come back at some point and check their grades if their grade is you know dipping a little bit then i can sit down with them and say hey um, I think you might be struggling with something. Tell me, you know, let's look into this and see what you need to slow down um, and spend some more time on. And uh, it just works and it gives me more time available to spend with my younger children because I don't have to sit down and teach that lesson um, and I don't have to sit down and grade that lesson either. Uh, so we love teaching textbooks. That brings us to what are we doing for Bible? Um, and this year we are doing my own Bible that I came up with. Um, I wouldn't share it with you guys because you wouldn't have access to it except for the fact that I'm hoping to get it to where it is accessible to you guys. Um, so when I get to that point um, in my creation of it, um, then I will link it here how you can get to those free resources. Um, I don't think that, um, that Bible, learning the Bible, I don't, and, um, spreading the gospel, I think that should be free. Uh, and so when I have all of that put together, um, I want to offer it to all of you guys for free. Uh, but right now I'll kind of explain to you what we're doing. Uh, so I wanted to do some foundational things with my kids. We've been working our way this summer through the fruits of the spirit. Um, then next we're going to go to the full armor of God. We're also going to do the Beatitudes, the attributes of love. Um, I'm going to do something I haven't come up with quite yet for Thanksgiving and then something separate for Christmas. Uh, Christmas will probably go along the lines of um, a Jesse tree study, studying all the people in Jesus's lineage. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to really focus on these. I didn't want to just have a one week study on the fruit of the spirit. So I've created to where we spend a whole week on what is the fruit of the spirit. And then the next week is um, studying love. The next week is studying joy. The next week is studying peace. Then, of course, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Um, and each one of those have their own weeks. So the whole Fruit of the Spirit unit is, um, I think it ends up being a 10-week course because there's nine fruits um, and then there's the introductory week of what is the fruit of the spirit and so each of these things i'm wanting to teach the fruit of the spirit the armor of god the beatitudes the attributes of love um, all of those things i'm wanting to teach they're going to be over several weeks each um, let me show you uh, kind of some of the things i've made so each week we'll have a, a memory verse uh, this one's a little bit long, but you have a whole week to, you know, uh, start with one sentence and build on to that. So each week has a memory verse, of course. This is the intro introductory week to Fruit of the Spirit. And um, so it is, uh, but the Fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law, Galatians 5, 22, and 23. And so that's the memory verse for that week. Uh, throughout the week, I also have free printables. This is the coloring page. Uh, then I have, um, I am the vine, you are the branches. So there's a study on that within that week. And then this is the page they fill out for it. 
Uh, so each week we'll have something like that as well. Uh, this I call draw write, and so you draw a picture of what you're learning and write about it. Uh, then we have a sheet that's just copy work. There's the memory verse, copy it. And then tracing. I don't know if you can see that well. So um, that's the memory verse, and kids who can't um, do the copy work, they can at least do the tracing. And then a word search. So each week, is new um is a new set of papers right so there would be free printables i also have um a youtube playlist uh, of hymns so we sit down in the mornings and we will watch the videos that go along with what we're learning um, and then we'll watch the hymns that we just love hymns and so we'll watch those um We'll sit there and either listen or we'll sing along. Um, and that's just a really nice time of our morning that we get to spend. Then we'll work on the memory verse and then we'll go to the paper. We'll go to the paper. We'll go to the table and work on whichever paper we're working on for that, uh, for that day. And uh, that's how I have it set up. And it works great for us. And so, like I said, I really, really, really want to offer that to everybody for free. And once I do, I will let you know, and I will come back to this video and link it in the description. I just don't have it quite ready yet. Um, then, I don't think I brought it in here with me, which I'm sad about. But uh, in the evenings, we sit down as a family and we do um, a book that's called Investigating God's Word at Home. And I will put that in the description for you. Uh, we love this one as a family um, devotion. We sit down and it's less of a devotional type book and it's more of a systematic, uh, systematic theology. You systematically go through the, the Bible verse by verse, chapter by chapter, um, and learn God's word. Uh, right now we're in the book uh, that, that is covering Genesis and Job. Uh, next, we're going to be in the book that covers Matthew, and then we'll go from there. Uh, and so it literally says, read, um, read Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 through whatever, and then here's some discussion questions to get you thinking as a family. And we love, we love this approach. And so we do that in the evening when my husband's available to do that with us. And so we have uh, Bible lessons in the morning. Uh, and then we also have family Bible study in the evening. And so that's it. That's what we have chosen for third grade. I hope that I've helped you. I hope that um, you have liked something you've seen here. And I'm so glad that you're here. And I hope you come back. Have a great year.